Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to the Cameroon series or the Tall Cameroon series. To be honest, I'm, I'm yet to decide what this series is going to be called, but anyway, it is a beautiful day in Bafusam. It's very noisy outside. I'm just realizing how many bikes run in Bafusam. Let me just show you what my view. Hell! show you what my view is giving me this early morning it's 7 a.m Okay, so it's extremely noisy, but how beautiful is that view? Uh, okay, so we are actually supposed to be leaving in like one hour. I have to get ready. So I'll see you guys when I dress up. hi guys we are getting ready i'm good to go i just need to like pack the bag like put my phones and chargers and stuff inside the bag that i need to take my assistant is going to help me by putting the things my things in her bag i mean as a bougie assistant ah. are we not sorry Désolé. okay so this is what my outfit is it's a jumpsuit belt in the middle for cinching gold accessories you know i love my rings necklace earrings hair all back just listen to me i'm in this hotel now i'm saying all back instead of all back hair all back, hair all back and um a uh, soft face soft makeup on the face so yeah let's go please while it's Unfortunately, the Sultan of Bamun just died like two, three days ago. What's the time now? Ten. Ten? Already ten? Uh -huh. Are you serious? It's not a game. It's a red skin. Feeling better like this because of that, that drink, the drink. <laughs> Wait, you'll be in your vlog, right? Yeah. Yes, guys, please check out Trudy's vlog for the traditional medicine that I took at Batifam yesterday. Something else. Ici sont les écoles. Okay. Continue to test it. Yes. You are a Cameroonian, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Chadina, they all take what they consider to be a <laughs> drug. The cure against coronavirus. Is this whiskey? No, no. No, no. no it's, it's not whiskey, but it tastes like whiskey. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Please. Since you entered this car, you've been eating. I've been eating, and then after this, I was. Croissant, apple, and you're holding a pack of Pringles. <laughs> We have work to go and do in Fumbane. I'm a bougie. There's a lot of work. work. We're in Fumbot right now. Have you guys done 
I've never been to Fumbo, mm -hmm. so That's exciting. <laughs> Open those sprinkles, let me see something. Wow, wow, wow. So girl, Open those sprinkles, so let me see something. So a girl should style herself. And she's opening them. She walked out this morning. Eh? <laughs> she was she was disturbing me in the hotel room, jumping around that she's walking out. <laughs> And she's and the problem with me, the more I walk out, the more I want to eat. <laughs> well, at least today is workout. Me and workout, I don't know please. Really? You don't work out, Trudy? No. You see, when I say some people are naturally blessed. I last time I walked out was like five years ago. My goodness. Hey, I told myself never again. I'm not going to No, but the more you work out, the, the less your body aches. Oh, God. I feel like when you work out and then you stop. Now, yeah, that's that the worst. Is yeah, going yeah. To come back. That's the worst. Actually. So, if you can't, you know, you can't finish, please don't start. <laughs> don't start. Mm, I like the, the excuse you that want. you're using. That's your that's excuse. That's what I think. Because after you paid up the muscle and then you backslide. But that's actually like what me, happened to me. If you're like me and you don't like workout, it's okay. Just, just, just sleep and Trudy gives you permission. It's okay. Life is good. You don't, we don't all have to work out, okay? We don't all have to work out. Let's be comfortable. We have one life. Let's be aye, aye, aye. If all of us could be like that. Me, I eat a lot when I'm stressed. Yeah, I eat a lot anytime. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> While we are driving to Fumban, let us talk about the history and heritage. Fumban is the seat of the Bamun Kingdom, and the Bamun Kingdom, along with the entire West Region, Northwest Region, and a few other areas of Cameroon, are the grass fields in Cameroon. Many grass field tribes, including the Bamun Kingdom, identify as part of the Tika ethnic group. The foundation of the Bamun Kingdom can be traced back six centuries, and traditions have remained intact to this day. The Sultan is a traditional and religious leader of this kingdom, and history has shown that the Bamun Kingdom has been blessed with very intelligent and influential sultans. Today, the Bamun Kingdom is a predominantly Islam community, but there are Christian natives as well. In fact, for a part of the last century, Christianity was the primary religion practice and it was Sultan Ibrahim Joya I who introduced Islam in the middle of his reign after converting from Christianity to Islam himself. So the Sultan's private residence has been sealed because of his passing. Everywhere is sealed. Everywhere is sealed. This wall is found at the entrance to the palace and the first king documented here is Mbombo from 1757, that is 264 years ago. Mbombo was a warrior and he defined the borders of the kingdom with blood and iron. Under him, several artistic masterpieces were created, one of which is the two-headed snake which you are going to see all over the Bamun kingdom and that signifies victory on two war fronts. Mbombo's daughter took over the throne for 30 minutes in order to pass it down to her son, the next king. She actually killed herself in an effort to resolve a power struggle between herself and her son's wife, the king's wife. Please note that when I mention the king's wife, I am just referring to one out of tens or even hundreds of wives. The next king here is Sango, who is the one who took over from his mother. He is described as a talented warrior who was just as generous as he was cruel. He died on the battlefield in Bansor in 1889 and had chosen his young son, Njoya, as his successor. Njoya's story reminds me of King David in the Bible. Njoya was one of the youngest of his brothers and succeeded his father around the age of nine years. His mother helped him rule at this young age, but soon enough, he proved himself worthy beyond everyone's wildest expectations. 
He was a genius and a relentless go-getter. His contributions solidified the Bamun region as a kingdom. He fostered the development of arts and crafts. He invented a Bamun script or writing. He developed a language for the Bamun people and arranged for it to be taught in schools. He built the palace we are standing in today. Also, having experienced religion both as a Christian and as a Muslim, he combined various schools of thought from different religions to create one religion which he believed to be ideal. He was well read and published. He resisted the French administration during colonial times and ended up in exile. And the list of his accomplishments just goes on and on. It was during Joya's reign that the leadership title changed from king to sultan. I hear that he was so wise that when he lost a battle, he actually approached the enemy and asked them how they managed to defeat him. The praises for Sultan Ibrahim Njoya I are still sung till today. Njoya died at the age of about 56 years and was succeeded by his son Njimolo. By the time he was taken over from his father, the Bamun kingdom was now an Islamic community and Sultan Jimolo was able to go on a pilgrimage to Mecca. He served the Bamun kingdom in a political capacity and was very instrumental in the Fumban Conference, a conference which to this day stands as a pivotal event in Cameroon's history. It was during this conference that the future of a soon-to-be independent Cameroon was decided and the proceedings of this conference helped shape what was to be the Federal Republic of Cameroon to what we see today. Guys, Cameroon history is a whole other story and we can cover that another day. So for now, let's just focus on the Bamun Kingdom. Njimolo's successor was his son, Ibrahim Mbombo Njoya, named after his legendary grandfather. This is a sultan who recently passed away and was one of the most influential men in Cameroon. He was well-read and served the country in many respects. He held positions such as Cameroonian ambassador to several countries successively. He held ministerial positions and when his father died, he was then enthroned as sultan and then he focused on the Bamun kingdom. He died as a senator and during his lifetime, he received so many honors and awards. Sultan Ibrahim Bombonjoya's successor is not on this wall yet because he was crowned as Sultan just a week after our visit to Fumban. He is Sultan Farifum Mbombo Njoya Muhammad Nabil and he was crowned as Sultan at the age of 28. This is the museum in Fumban, but because of the Sultan's passing, it was sealed. But from a distance, we were able to capture the general architecture. You see the aforementioned two-headed snake, which symbolizes victory on two war fronts, and the spider on his back, also symbolizing power. Thank you very much. We had many, 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 many things with the, with the introduction of Islam in the Bamun land. How do you address the Sultan? In Bamun, to address the Sultan, he said Mbiera. Mbiera. Before the introduction of Islam in the Bamun land, we were animists and Christians. There was an Islamic crusade between the Bamun and the Northerners. From Fumban to Banyo is not far. Banyo is in the Adamawa. And so, during that war, the Northerners won. And the Sultan was so shocked because he believed in all culture and tradition connected in what he had. He went and asked the Banyo of Banyo that, ah, ah, you know that the Sultan who is powerful and can you explain to me how you managed to win the bamboo? The call is going down here. That from today, we will eat our pork, we will do this and that. But know that tomorrow, we will not do that again. All of us will embrace Islam. Hi guys, it's afternoon now, about 2.30 p.m. We are now going on a tour of Fumban. We're just driving around Fumban, trying to see what it's like. 
trying to visit you know places that we probably wouldn't have the opportunity to visit otherwise shout out to all my bamun people i've learned a lot about the bamun culture the bamun kingdom the bamun all the villages that are part of the bamun kingdom have one language and that is bamun they have one tradition one king or one ruler and the one king or one ruler is you know who we know as the sultan the sultan is a traditional ruler as well as a religious ruler and you know he oversees everything in the Bamun kingdom i don't understand why you know the sultans are always so respected so revered they are actually a very big deal Once again, I would like to thank KE International and the Mwali Medical and Technology City for making this trip possible. And let us stay tuned and keep up with their upcoming smart city and development projects in Cameroon. It has been quite a day in Fumban and we are on our way back to Bafusam. Everybody is exhausted. Thank you. Is it is it chat channel? Yes. Okay.